welcome to DIY with Nancy. Today, I'm going to make popish fitting a maizena. And the best way for me to describe it, it's a hot pudding with some cinnamon drizzled right on top. This is something that's made, uh, been made in our family from generation to generation. My grandmother made it for my mom. My mom made it for myself and my siblings. And I continue to make it for my daughters as well. We all love it. Um, it's so good, easy to make. And I'm gonna show you how to make papish fitting a maizena step by step. The first step to make papish fitting a maizena in a saucepan, I'm gonna start off with two tablespoons of maizena flour, which is a cornstarch. Place that all in there. Next, I'm going to add two cups of milk. Pour it right into the saucepan with the maizena. Now the heat is not on. And what I'm going to do is stir together the milk with the maizena, make sure it's well combined before I turn on the heat. Now the maizena and milk are well combined. At this point, I'm going to turn on the heat to a medium heat. I'm gonna stay by the stove and constantly stir. This will thicken and it will be about four to five minutes before it starts thickening. So it's very important you stay by the stove and keep stirring. Now, as you can see, I've been constantly stirring. It's now thickened. I'm just gonna switch to a spatula. And at this point, I'm going to add four tablespoons of granulated sugar. So you're gonna pour in the sugar and you're gonna constantly stir just as I'm doing here. Now it is thickened, it will thicken a little bit more. However, I wanna keep stirring just to make sure it doesn't get stuck to the bottom. It's a very important step. And papas are really fast to make. And you can see, again, it's coating the spatula and that's why I switched it so you can see that uh, it has thickened. At this point, turn off your stove and add two egg yolks at room temperature. Now before I add the yolks, I'm just mixing them and then I'm going to pour them in slowly, constantly stirring. So important. You want to make sure that you don't have scrambled eggs in your papish. So once you have your yolks in your papish, you need to constantly stir until it's well combined. At which point, once your eggs are well mixed in there, your papish are ready. It's that quick and easy. From start to finish, your papas will be ready under 20 minutes. Now I want you to take a look at the consistency. It's creamy and it's a pouring consistency. Now I like to serve the papas hot, so let's move it on to a serving plate. Now all I have to do is pour the papas that are nice and hot into a serving plate. Now here is my hot plate of papas. All I need to do is to drizzle some cinnamon on it. That's how I grew up eating it as a little girl and I continue eating it that way as well. I like a lot of cinnamon and so do my daughters. And this one I'm going to be sharing. So I'm going to be drizzling a lot of cinnamon on it. You could put as much or as little as you like. And that's how I make my papish fitting a maizena. Nice and hot and ready to be served. Hey everyone, and that's how I make my papish fitting a maizena. This is my daughter Brianna, who absolutely loves papish, and I made it specifically for her. So Brianna, tell me, how is it? Okay, let's see. <laughs> you always have to get it from the side. <laughs> With the cup of milk. It's so good. Are you gonna share? Mm, sure, do you want some? <laughs> Anyway, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed the recipe for Papish Fitting a Maizena. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Take care.